What would you rather have me be really into? Okay. What? I'm into wrestling. Hardcore. Like I'm like I'm I, I I immediately would be like, You're way too stupid. Ric Flair's my guy. I'm watching every match. Okay. No. Or I'm into cosplay. Hardcore cosplay. And I like to play Storm from Justice League or whatever. Who's it called? What? Like I'm I'm one of these characters and I dress up and I go to these conventions at, at, in a, in character. It's almost an equal trade off. <laughs> But here's why wrestling is worse. It's worse. Yeah. It's worse because people pretend it's a sport. And I think you're a fucking tool. <laughs> if you're like, yeah. hey, man, it's not fake. It's fucking it's fake, fake. And you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. But grow up. It's for children. It's not for it. But when it's a male adult. If you're over 11 and you're like, you see SmackDown last night? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's how this guy was. And he knew all of them. And, and the then stories. he tagged in his partner. And then they grabbed a chair. Man. I, I never thought we would see the day. Yeah, I know. That the Bass Brothers <laughs> the Bass <laughs> would hold the belt. Were you guys having flashbacks to being shoved in lockers again? I'm so sorry. That must just be awful. I've heard you say on some castrating the marks that maybe a theory, the audience and even some of the people in the business are people who have just been bullied over their love of wrestling, they're nerds, they're borderline sexual deviants. Could it be that they were bullied by people who may represent the casual audience and they don't want them to now enjoy the thing that they cling to? That's a good theory, righty. But think about that for a second. If 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 it's if the, if that's true with what you're saying, I would think if I was somebody that was bullied. Okay, just take a Tony Khan for instance. And I'm not saying Tony Khan was bullied. I'm, I I I think he might have been. I'm going to be honest with you. But I don't know that for a fact. But if I'm Tony Khan and I was bullied. And all of a sudden, I have something that I think is really cool. I would want to let those bullies know that because I would say, hey, look, man, I'm cool, too. Now, you guys, <laughs> hey, look, I know I wasn't cool. in you know, the third grade when you guys had me sitting alone at the cafeteria table, but I'm cool now. So so again, bro, bro, we're, we're living in a world righty where just logic defies everything and and when you're a very logical guy i consider myself a very logical guy when you're a very logical guy and everything starts with logic bro when you take logic out of the equation nothing makes sense man yeah they have a very small limited audience they have a very niche audience and for some reason, the mentality is, this is ours. Nope, nobody else can come near it. If you don't like it, F you, bro. Like, it's 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 theirs. It, it can't go any further. So let's take, for instance, you, righty. You got that sweatshirt, the, bir the birds. Okay, bro, say, you know, you're a young kid. A lot of your friends don't know the birds. So what do you do, bro? You want to introduce them to a band and music you love. Guys, you got to listen to the birds, the birds. You're sharing it with everybody. That's when you like something, bro, you, you want them to be popular. You want them to be successful. You're going to tell your friends about them, whether it's a movie or a TV show or a band. This is the complete reverse psychology, righty? I wish I could tell you the logic behind it because if they were true fans, they would want as many people to be watching this as possible. It would not be an exclusive club. Bro, I can't, bro, I can't explain it to you because it goes against everything I know.